Hello everyone, it's Eric here again, back for a third video today. Um, I'm just trying to get a couple of these done to keep people entertained. Anyway, um, this video I'm going to be going over a simple position mod. So first, just like with every mod, we're going to go into our implements class, and we are going to say mod, I don't know, mod XYZ. That's a good name. And we're going to say extends mod draggable. Going to add unimplemented methods, and uh, we're for get height. It doesn't just give me text. I'm going to return font dot font height. Um, we want to do private screen position position, so we can save and load our position. So we're going to say this dot position equals position, and then to load, we're going to say return position. Now what we're going to do is we got two more things. So for the width, we're going to say font.getStringWidth. And we're just going to say, make a function called getXYZString. And then to render, I am going to say font.drawString. GetXYZString. We're going to say position dot get absolute x position dot get absolute y color. I'll do negative one for white. Uh, now let's create this. I'm going to say create method to get x y z string. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to say return, and I'm going to use string dot format here. So I'm going to say string dot format, and for the format, I am going to say x y z. And then I'm going to say percent point three slash percent point three, and there's supposed to be f's after those point three f slash percent point three f. Um, and what this is going to do is format it to three decimal places. So if you want no decimal places, put a zero for these threes for all of them. Um, oops. So I'm gonna for me, I want three decimal places for my x, y, and z coordinates. That's just me. As I said, you can change it to be what you want. Um, so then what I'm going to do is I am going to say mc dot get render view entity dot position x for x position mc dot get render view entity dot we're gonna get the bounding box get entity bounding box and get our minimum y for our bounding box and then I'm going to say mc dot get render view entity dot position z and there is our xyz thing so I'm going to just to neaten my code up a little bit I'm going to put enters between these um, it won't actually affect anything but you can feel free to do that or not um, and now what we got to do is just like every mod, we got to add it to our mod instance. So we're going to say private static uh, mod XYZ is what I call it. So we're going to call the variable mod XYZ. And I'm just going to copy mod FPS, paste it, and got to say import. Uh, I got to copy this mod XYZ, mod XYZ, mod XYZ. And now we should be able to run our client and we should see that we have a super simple um, XYZ position mod that just shows us our coordinates. Right, yep, yeah. so I push, let me put this full screen if I push T, you can see it says XYZ, and then my position in the world. Alright, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching this video.